today we are going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup look and I think this is going to be the last video for this year and I'm going to be seeing you all in my next video in the next year. So Happy New Year in advance. So I did this makeup look and let me tell you guys I had so much fun creating this look. It is out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try something which I've never done. So I came up with this look and let me tell you it is super easy to do. It's just gonna take a little bit time because it takes a lot of time to blend the eyeshadows. Other than that, you're not gonna find this makeup look difficult at all. So if you wanna know how I achieve this look, please keep watching. Hi guys, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the primer today. And for primer, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio and apply it all over my face. So I want my makeup to last long because I'm gonna be out all day long, all night long basically. So a primer is a must I feel for this occasion. And I can't believe that, you know, New Year's is coming so nearby and this year just passed by so fast. So let me know in the comments below what are your plans for the New Year's. Where are you guys going? What are you going to do? As of now, I don't have any plans. I have no idea. I'm going to be using my Shiseido Sinker Skin Lasting liquid foundation i haven't used this foundation since a very long time so that is the reason i wanted to use this one y'all can go for any foundation that y'all have y'all do not need to you know go for a very high-end foundation all the time there are so many drugstore foundations which are so very good y'all must be knowing most of my favorite foundations are drugstore So this foundation is actually a shade lighter than my skin tone but once it sinks into your skin it just literally looks like skin so don't get scared that I'm using like a very light foundation on my face and then with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender I'm just gonna blend everything out. How do you guys prefer to apply your foundation with a beauty blender or with a brush? You guys must be knowing that I absolutely love the Beauty Blender. I do not like applying foundation or any other liquid basically with a brush. I'm like a die-hard Beauty Blender fan. So once we're done applying the foundation, we are going to move on to concealer. And for concealer today, I'm using my NYX HD Concealer in the shade uh, CW06. And conceal wherever I normally do. That is under my eyes, on my T-zone area, around the corners of my mouth all that jazz and then with my beauty blender I'm just gonna blend everything out once that is done I'm gonna set my entire face and for that I'm using my Ben My Luxury Powder in the shade Banana first I'm gonna bake and then set the rest of the face with the same powder itself also do not forget to powder your eyelids otherwise your concealer is just gonna move around and you know crease on your eyelids so guys I've just done my eyebrows off camera you'll have seen me doing my eyebrows a lot of times if you want a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows it is already there on my channel I'll link it somewhere here in case y'all are interested so now we are just going to move on to our eyes. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and I have a little excess powder under my eyes so that you know while you're applying your eyeshadow and glitter and stuff, if they fall on your face, it will be very easy for you to remove it off. So yeah, let's get started with the eyes. So the first thing that we are going to do is apply a winged liner and for that today I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Gel Intense Sapphire Blue Eyeliner and with my Pack 315 brush I'm gonna apply a winged liner once you lay down your wing I am just gonna use any blue eyeshadow that I have I'm using this eyeshadow from the unicorns unite palette from makeup revolution and place it right on my eyeliner and blend it a little bit upward just 
so you want to keep building the eyeshadow till you're happy with the intensity of it so as you're placing it try using a windshield wiper motion to blend it out you want to keep your eyeshadow under your crease area Okay, once we're done with our upper eyes, we're gonna move on to our lower lash line. And first, I'm gonna be using my kajal, this is the in color kajal in black, and line my lower waterline and drag it a little bit downward. And then, with my pencil brush, I'm just gonna smudge it out. And you do not want to take the smudging part of it right in the inner corners. You want to be like till here. And then with any black eyeshadow that you have, I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow from this palette itself and set that kajal that we've applied. So you want to keep blending until everything looks very seamless. So once our lower lash line is done, I'm just gonna take my uh, glitter eyeliner and apply it right in my inner corners. And then I'm also gonna apply a little bit of silver glitter right in my inner corners. So once our eyes are done, I'm just going to apply mascara on my upper and lower lash line. And for mascara today, I'm using my Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara. So once we're done applying mascara, I'm going to be applying falsies. And for falsies today, I'm going to be applying a pair from this stack that I have. And I got this off Amazon in case you're interested. And I'm going to be applying this one right here. So once our eyes are done, we're going to move on to the rest of our face. And I'm going to start with contouring. And for contouring today, I'm using my NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. And I'm going to be using this color right here for my contouring. And this color right here for my bronzing. So I'm going to start with contouring. For that, I'm using my Pack 330 brush. And chisel out my cheekbones. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to brush it right at my nose. So I'm just lightly contouring my nose as well. And also under my lips to make them look more plum. And my jawline as well. And then with my Pack 342 brush, I'm just going to bronze up my face. just above my contour lines and I'm also rounding up my forehead now we're gonna move on to blusher and for blusher I'm using my Miss Claire blusher in the shade 35 and with my blusher brush that is the Real Techniques buffing brush I'm gonna give it a slight blush so for highlighter today I'm using my favorite highlighter of all time that is the Blush Symphony Red Pacity in Color Highlighter in the shade 06 and I'm applying this highlighter with this Pro Art 17 6F brush this is an angled blusher brush but I'm using this as a highlighter because it makes my application of highlighter very easy so I'm applying this right at the highest points of my cheeks you see how pretty this highlighter is it is so 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 damn reflecting and with the same brush i'm applying this right at the tips of my nose and also on my cupid's bow so now that the highlighting is done i'm just gonna take my sponge and like dab it right on my face so that it looks much more natural and well blended so the last part is our lips and for our lips I'm going to be using this Milani lip cream in the shade Loved. Since we have so much going on on our eyes, I do not want to go with a very bold lip. You can wear a bold lip but I want to go a little bit on the nuder side so I'm going to be wearing this shade and it smells so good. It smells like vanilla chocolate kind of fragrance and I absolutely love it. Once 
once we're done with that, we're gonna set our face with this Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetic Setting Spray. So guys, this is the final result. I hope you all like it. I absolutely love how it turned out. This is so like New Year's Eve makeup. It has so much going on, such bold eyes and a very neutral lip. I absolutely love this combination. And if you all do happen to try it out, don't forget to send me pictures or DM me on Instagram or any of my social media accounts so that I can see what you all came up with. So yeah, that was it for this video and I think I will see you next year. So until then, bye!